Okay, this is a different version of a 6 watt RF amp using the 2SC1971 RF transistor. This will, I'll show you the plan first. That's the layout. Basically, you just get a piece of copper clad board, and I got a Dremel, and I cut out the copper. It was really easy with a cutoff wheel to make these little spaces here for these pads. So you just got to get this layout and just copy it onto a piece of copper clad. I have the same coax. I have a 75 ohm. This is the case I made right here. Let me show you this. All right, I had a bunch of stainless steel laying around from an old microwave oven. So I made this box. I had a heat sink laying around. All right, so that's that. All right, let me get some better lighting here. Regular coax connector works just fine, has little if any effect on the SWR reading because it's just, it's just a small, tiny little area where the cable connects, and it works fine for me. All my transmitters use that. All right. Now back to this again. All right, this is everything you need. You got the 470 uh, PF cap, 39, whole list. Now the inductors. The only problem I had uh, producing this circuit was the orientation of the coils. You have to make sure that these two are at 90 degrees, just like that. And this coil here I had at a different angle, and it wasn't working right. I had to actually just twist the coil with a needle nose, and it worked perfectly. It's a little touchy, but it does work. And this capacitor is a 470, and this one's a 470. I made this a trimmer, and I made that a trimmer. But everything else matches. It works really good. It draws about close to about 680 milliamps at 12 volts and around 800 at 13.8. And it puts out a huge uh, RF field. And I use it anywhere from like 85 to 110 megahertz. I'll show you what I did in mine. This is just ventilation holes. Just drill a few of them in there. Let me see I get a better look on that. There you go. Alright, that's my layout. Go down there. There's the trimmer on the output. There's the trimmer on the input. This is the coil I'm talking about right here, this one turn. I had it going that way. So I twisted it and then everything worked fine after that. But it does work really good. And if you want to make one, just duplicate what I did. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I did to make it easier. But but that's it. Pretty simple circuit. Make sure these coils are three sixteenths to a quarter inch above the copper plate when you when you solder them down. Just make a little foot on them when you solder it. Keep all your leads as short as possible, and you should be good to go. Make sure you have a 50 ohm dummy load or a proper uh, antenna for the transmitter that you're using before you power it up, otherwise you blow the transistor.